So spur of the moment trip, we decided to come down to Canyonlands National Park. We're at the, the south end of the park <clears throat> where the, the needles, um, the needles uh, are. Haven't been there before, haven't seen it. Went on a short hike tonight. We're gonna camp up here. And this is called Hamburger Campground, I think. Spend the night here, have some dinner, and then we'll get up early, do a couple of hikes in the morning, see what this place is all about. So we have spent the night in the Needles District of Canyonlands National Park, which is the southern part of the National Park. Never been down here before. And in this part, part of the park is where the, the Green River and the Colorado River meet. I've never seen that. Always wanted to see, they call, it's called, well, I guess, when, I guess when any two rivers meet, it's called a confluence. This, is, this area is known specifically as the confluence. Um, it's what everyone calls it locally. Um, I've always wanted to see it. It's meant to be a bit crazy. Um, I, I know that if you if you raft the, <coughs> the Colorado or the green, you have to get out before you hit the confluence because it's a bit crazy. So it's about a round trip. It's about a 12 mile hike. So we're going to see if we can do that today. Cherie might not make it. Her legs a bit shot, but <coughs> maybe I will. So this is where we are. Um, Island in the Sky District is kind of the north part of the park. You access that from Moab. Needles District is where we are. Uh, we're about here. We camped out here last night and we're, we're, we're parked here and we're going to try and do this trail here to the Confluence Overlook and hopefully we'll get a good view of the, um, the Needles North Zone right here on the way. So let's go. <music> Gonna be a long 10 miles. Okay, so we got a bit lost last time. Um, and we probably clocked up three and a half, close to four miles, getting lost and getting back to the truck. Drank up most of my water, got a snack, changed my socks, refilled the water, and this is round two. Sherry Kay's not up for round two. Um, she's at the truck. She's at the truck, which is right in the middle of the frame. The trail took us down through, down into the canyon, uh, back up, and now it looks like we're gonna head up through the mountain. Oh. Nice. Whew. This 
this is very kind of the forest service or whoever it is straight up apparently Yeah, baby. Here we go. Okay, crossing a flat plateau area here. So able to get full on trekking speed, make up some time for those massive inclines. coming up to a riverbed. <clears throat> I'm guessing the Colorado hasn't dried up. Can here, can here. Took me a second to get my bearings here. No footprints this way. Lots of footprints this way. And there's the marker camouflaged on the bank. Which looks like where we're heading. Okay, behind me, you can see the confluence. Not quite as dramatic as I had imagined. I thought it was gonna be some kind of white water torrent uh, that would just take anyone to their death if they tried it in a boat. Um, can't even see any current at all. And there's no going for a dip. It's about probably uh, 1,400 feet, at least 1,000, probably 14, 1,500 feet below me. Okay, the feet are definitely a bit sore, but no blisters. Getting the socks and shoes dried out for a minute in the sunshine. And uh, give me a few minutes and I'll be heading back. Mm -hmm. 